Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Dead Heat, Firestarter, Fool's Game, Hereditary, Hold My Own, Intercom, Kevin yeah, Upper like... Chasm, Leave No Doubt, Mongrel, No Way Out, and Wise. May 3rd and 4th. That's insanity. That is insanity. Wow. I don't even know where that's at. Bad Dog Compound sounds kind of scary if you ask me. It's in LA, baby. And I'm a scaredy cat. What's up? Daddy's Edge, episode 102. Scaredy at the Bad cat. Dog Compound. Scaredy Cat at the fucking, at the helm, baby. I'm going to go ahead and adjust your camera. Basically, I feel like... If you move the whole thing to the opposite corner, your thingamajig wouldn't be in the thingamajig. All good. All good, brother. Some ban. That's some ban right there. All good, brother. So, we got a scaredy cat at the helm. I'm a scaredy cat. I feel like where we're going this week is in the ghetto. I feel like our hotel's in the ghetto. It was like, what, like 29 bucks a night? Something like that. I feel I'm, like we're in the super ghetto. I'm really not a scaredy cat, though. Like, really, really. Like, we got your, we're going to bring your wooden club? For real, I'm not. I'm not. You're going to bring the multi tool? I promise. I promise. Hey, brother, after this, do you mind fucking plucking my hairs out of that thing? <sighs> what kind? Nose hairs? Oh, yeah. It's really not good for you. Really? You shouldn't do it that way. I, I don't think you should even pluck your nose hairs at all, actually. Dude, my nose hairs are getting too intense, bro. Nah, your nose hairs are there for a reason, dude. They're there to filter out all the stuff that's... They're getting too long where they're coming out. Okay, that's fair. Yes, I do have those too, but luckily they blend in with a stash. Well, someone doesn't have a fucking stash. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. But, um... And I can feel like my boogie's getting stuck in there, and then it hurts. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They, like, clump up. Yes, dude. Boogers clump up all the hairs. Especially this one right here, my, my right nostril. Oh, I hate it. You know, my best, or I'm sorry, not my best, my favorite part of uh, my m bigger, bigger poking. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Booger picking career. <laughs> after work, after a long, dusty day of work, uh -huh. oh, I get up in that thing. Oh, I start digging out some good, gnarly clumps. And they're just black. Dirt. Are they hard or are they soft? Uh, some of them are really gnarly hard. Yeah, mine too. See, like right now? I some, some. some of them are gnarly, dude. Some of them are like, man, what's been going on? Like, what, what is in the air, bro? But yeah, that's why we got them nostril hairs for filters. So like, why do people shave their nostrils? Well, because people will do anything just so that they get those tiny, tiny little imperfections out of their, out of their way. You get what I'm saying? Even though, it costs honestly, them. I, I want to get mine out. You plucked them like what a year and a half ago. You can trim them. How do I do that? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I just want. I want you to get them out again. I don't know. Have you seen? Have you seen those? Uh, there's these little silicone filters, right? They make for welders. You put them in your nose. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And so when they show before and after of somebody that's been using those for a long day of welding. Uh huh. And dude, it's very, very helpful. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Very, very. That's helpful. why they, uh, they give those like not N95s, but it's like a respirator mask. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Painters too. Painters as well. You don't want to be breathing right. that shit in. And that's all fitted and stuff like that too. Yeah. And you, you have to even shave your 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 face to get fitted for one of those. So you would have no mustache, or you could still have the stash. Uh, you can't have the stash, I believe, because it goes out to the cheeks. Uh, but all this. Uh, like a Found goatee, shadow? Know? yeah. You can't, you can't have that. Wow. Or at least they say it doesn't get a proper suction. They'd love me over there. You know? Oh yeah. Like brother, did you shave this morning? I was like, I got a shave, dog. Baby bottom Johnny, baby. Baby bottom Johnny. <laughs> All right, brother. I really want to get into the nitty gritty here. What are you talking about, nitty gritty? Are uh, you said, hey, are we ready for the trip? Are we ready for the trip? No. We're not. Why not? I haven't packed a single thing. I haven't packed a single thing either. I haven't what even thought about what I was going to bring. Well, I don't... See... So, I'm bringing the God's Hate bag. I'm finally going to put it to use. First time ever. Nice. Nice. That's badass. First God's of all, double bag. actually, you Harder. said you are going to use that for the gym, but I guess it is a trip bag. Okay. So, I'm going to bring the God's Hate bag. I'm bringing underwears. Okay. I'm bringing jorts. I'm only bringing my Dickies pants, the brown ones. That's, that's all Just I got. one pair of pants? One pair of pants. That's all I got. Okay. Um, pair of long johns. Because I know it's going to be that cold out there. It's supposed to be like in the 40s and 30s, yeah. 
Remember? See, and I'm not liking that we're getting this California rain out here. I'm on my way home from work. I got some rain. Pretty hard rain, right? Uh-huh. I'm not liking that. So as we get out of California into those other states, I feel Cold like the rain fuck. is going to... Cold as fuck. No, no, no. I feel like the weather, it becomes significantly more... Worse? There. You get what I'm saying? What the fuck does that even mean? Like, there's more rain. I'm sorry, not more rain. There's more weather. And those other states. Probably. It's, it's probably yeah. cold, snowing. Who knows? It's going to be in the 30s, and 40s. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping that we don't encounter any rain. I <sighs> want nothing but sunshine and fucking rainbows. But I have this um, this tradition where it always rains on my birthday. So it'll rain on Friday. Really? It always rains on my birthday. For how long? What's the streak? Who 24 knows? years? So long. I don't We're even know gonna anymore. You're 24? We'll just say that it's 23 years solid. And 23 years solid. We're going to break it this, this weekend. We'll see. We'll this see about that. Week. Not this weekend. We'll see about weekend. that. And if it doesn't rain, it is going to rain inside of the Triple Crown Pavilion because we're going to make some pussies cry. <laughs> okay. I don't know how we're going to make pussies cry, but sure. Um, crack I, killing. You have... Ugh, I'm not crack killing nobody, dog. I, I, I don't want to hit anybody. I feel so bad. Well, they're actually... When in Rome! Dude, if they fucking... Like, if they... Like, that guy at the... At that Pomona show... Oh, man, I want to beat his fucking ass. When in Rome! <sighs> fucking piece of you shit. You don't think so? You don't you don't have that type of mentality? To crowd kill? No. No, no, no. When in Rome? No. Like, hey, dude, I'm over here. I'm going to fucking suck some dick or something. No, no okay, okay, hold on. There. When in Rome. Hold on there, brother. <laughs> That's for certain things. Hey, you know, I'm having hey, lunch. Hey, when in Rome, pull your cock out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm having lunch with Ted Bundy. What's up? Oh, time my to, God. <laughs> time to bust out some bodies. <laughs> yeah, man. So, your your dad, you said your dad has this component to charge shit. Yes. That's got to be charged, ready to go. Yeah, yeah, that'll turn on a battery, car battery, like nothing. So, but it's charging everything. I like or, to pl- I like to clamp <laughs> that to my nipples and. Does it have like two outlets that like, you can plug like uh, car yeah. like outlets in? Yes. No, that that will plug in. That will turn on a car battery, uh-huh. and it also has USB plug, um, for like phone chargers stuff like there's that. There's no. Uh, there's no like actual outlet plug. I'm not sure. Don't remember. If there is, that'd be dope. If because there is, that'd be, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure there is not. So this is my game plan. What are you trying to take, Eve? So I'm taking my phone, which dies fast. So I got to put that bitch in power saving mode. I've got chargers in the car. I've got I've got chargers. I know you got chargers, but are they fast chargers? That's gonna be able to charge my phone. Fast chargers. Don't worry, brother. Oh really? I got this new component. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm bringing my phone. I have a Google Pixel 6 trap phone. That battery lasts forever. That's my gaming phone. Trap phone. Trap, trap phone. phone. Trap That's phone. the gaming phone. And I'm bringing my dad's phone for camera. Wow. Just in case. Okay. Just in case we want it. All right. Okay. I'm bringing the cameras because... Because we are giving the people... What they want. A road trip pod. We're giving them a road trip pod. Either... Honestly, I think it'd be dope as fuck if we recorded in the car on the drive. See, see, that that'd be amazing. That would okay, be. Okay, we gotta stop leaking. We gotta stop leaking. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta stop leaking these so, deets. These beautiful deets. We so gotta make the people wait. The, tra- the trap phone is the phone for gaming. Gaming. This weekend, like on Sunday or Monday, I'm downloading every game I want to play. Oh, every single game. Like I got Balloon Tower Defense Six, maxing out on the on the drive. You got an hour. You got a day and six hour drive, brother. Yeah. You're gonna be going through a lot of games. So the problem is, I'm scared I'm gonna be on my fucking phone too much on nah. my phone phone. All good, dude. Nope. And uh, that's that's my technology trip plan. I got my two portables. I'm gonna bring those two just in case. You never know. Uh, I'm bringing four pairs of socks because I feel like I don't need them on the first. I don't need to change them on the first two days. Tuesday to Wednesday, don't need them. I'll be in the car the whole day. I'm not taking my fucking socks off. Okay. I might rock the Crocs. I- I'm gonna bring the Crocs. Rock, Sometimes the you gotta Crocs. be you gotta be comfy. Bring the Crocs. Uh, I'm bringing two long sleeves. I'm bringing my spy one, the white and red one, and I'm gonna put this shirt over it. 
That was be sick. I didn't know we were going down like some Vanity Fair type I'm shit. I'm going down Fitz, baby. No, I didn't I didn't know we were going through that. Then I'm going to bring my white and blue terror shirt, and I'm going to rock it with the fucking show me the body fucking <laughs> flame shirt. <laughs> and I'm going to hit some fucking... Actually, I'll crap kill somebody. Fuck it. I can just... You know when they say, side to side, and everyone just starts walking back and forth, and they do like one of those... I do that to somebody's face. Really hurt him. Next thing you know. He said, he said side to side, motherfucker. You got hurt on purpose. Yeah. That's your fault. You're not paying attention. Next thing you know, he's getting carted out. <laughs> Dude, at the Larry, when me and Jake went to Larry June show, somebody got carted out, for real. And he was like, drink your water. Yeah, you gotta drink Stay your water. Stay hydrated. That's right, that's right. Always organic. Especially in places like that where a lot of people tend to drink and do uh, a lot of such drugs. I hope no one like drinks there. There's no point... Let's be honest. So, yes, there will be some drinking involved. Lots of it. Just as much as Sound and Fury, I would assume. So, uh, my insider plug, I will be texting him on Tuesday. and Because he told me, he said, hey, because uh, he texted me like three weeks ago. He said, hey, are you going to Kentucky soon? I forgot when you were going. And I was like, I'm going on the 19th. And he said, just remind me because I want to recommend you some places to eat. So... I'll text him on Tuesday when we start driving. Like, hey, brother, I'll be in Kentucky tomorrow. You got any fucking wrecks? Hell yeah. He knows the location because he travels yeah. a lot. He travels a lot. Give me that goddamn address, brother. And then he even added somebody on my page who actually lives there in Louisville. Get my Surrey directions. So uh, I'll definitely be hitting them up. Be like, hey, dude, I want a fucking dang spot. I need the spot. Not super expensive, but something, you know, like... In the, I, the most I'd really spend is like $30. Something real. Something real. Some barbecue or something. I don't know what Something they do in Kentucky. Real. What do they got there in Kentucky? Not no KFC type shit. Hot brown. Hot brown. That's what it's called. I feel like we haven't pre- prepared enough for this trip. No. Like, what do you mean? Like, researched where we're going. Why we got to research? I feel like that's something people do. Why? For why? Why Just you got to research? Just to be prepared. <laughs> Are we the type of um, prepared no, people? No, no. We're more spontaneous. Which yeah. is what this trip is. Very spontaneous. This trip is not spontaneous. This trip has been planned for months. All right. I just want everybody to know this trip has been planned for months. And <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great fucking time. Okay. It was spontaneous. And you know though. what? My sister, my sister asked me. She was like, are you doing it as like a, a birthday thing? Yeah, we are now. And then I was like, well, no, actually. Like, I never even really thought about it that yeah. way. I never thought about it like... Oh, like I'm gonna go here to celebrate my birthday? Nah, dude. We're going because it's a show. And I'm it's gonna go cel- I'm gonna celebrate LDB for my birthday, bro. Think about how far the show is. Yeah. This lineup is stacked. This is the most stacked lineup. Insane. All year so Insane. far. So far. So far. Do you think someone's gonna beat it? Yeah. Fuck no. Fuck no. I don't know. We'll see. They got Balmora playing second. That's how far the show is. This show is so far that they're second. On the day. No, they did them dirty, by the way. I feel you like they so? should have put them on fire. I was going to ask you about that. They should have put them way higher. But whatever. But that's what I'm saying. The show is so fire that Balmora is number two on the day. Don't agree with that. So fire. But it is what it is. I'm very excited for this trip. The driving, it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of driving. A lot of driving. I am manning the ship first. First half. And I'm, um, I'm doing what I can, you know. With I'm trying to chip away as much as I can. Yeah. Within a day and six hours, I'm trying to do as far as you can. Dar- trying to do the darndest thing. You know what I'm saying? Question. How are you with sleeping in the car? What do you mean? As a passenger princess. Oh, dude, I sleep in the car every day of my life. So the so my <laughs> <laughs> every day five days a week uh-huh. I sleep in my car. So my so my worry is is that. I'm going to be so amped up on Mountain Dew when we first, like, start driving oh. that um, that I won't be able to sleep while you drive the first, the first, your first leg. Why are you going to be so amped up on Mountain Dew? It's a joke. It's from fucking, uh, fucking, what's that movie? No, but you're seriously saying you're going to be amped up? Yes, bro. On what, though? Like a monster? On adrenaline. Okay. Ad- like, damn, bro, oh, okay. I'm so excited. We're going to be so sick, and we're going to be driving. I'm going to be awake with you the whole time. Then it's like, hey, bro, it's your leg, and I'm like... No, no, no. Shit. No, nah, to be honest, dude, I don't think so. Just KO? It's going to take... You're going to realize, oh, we got a long way to go. I think when we and- get to Vegas, or, or like once we get a little bit out of Vegas, it'll be time to switch. And then I'll drive, and I'll be like, okay, I've been driving for about six hours. Over. You've been asleep for about three. 
ready to switch. And, and then then I'll be ready to yeah, you, you're knock gonna, out. You're, you're going to realize we're a lot further than you think, oh. and that adrenaline is going to shoot right down, just uh. like the Titanic, uh. right down into the ocean. Uh. Uh. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like when you get to your second leg is when I'll finally be unamped, and I'll be like, okay, I can take a nap. And I, oh, I got to bring a pillow for show, a pillow. And uh, I'm cool sleeping with any blanket. I'm not like a... What do you mean? <laughs> what, what are you talking? Like, like, I know you're bringing your blanket and you got to like sleep with it. I have to bring a pillow or else I'm not falling asleep. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I'm going to bring a pillow too. Why would you not bring a pillow? I'm just saying. Are you kidding me? I'm you saying know, I'm not bringing a blanket. You know what? The way they make car seats nowadays, I don't know if you've ever checked them out, but if, if, you, if I were to sit down with my back straight, right? Uh-huh. Back straight, the car seat... There's a gigantic gap. Yeah. Right? It's perfect. It, I, I don't think it's perfect. Perfect for a pillow. I think we should have to contour to the seat. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And if they make us contour to the seat... I'm more of like a, that. I'm a side sleeper. Oh, so yeah. What I'm I do a side is sleeper, too. I put the pillow up into the wedge, and I have like that one and a half foot of sleepage, and that pillow ain't moving. I have this perfect travel pillow that I use for my naps before work. Is it a neck pillow? No. Okay. It's just a little square pillow. Okay. But that is perfect for, car. for for cars and my naps. Perfect. Perfect. It is what it is. I'm ready or not. Um, and my dad commented, and I've told you before already. I don't mean you, by the way. No, I, I know. The, I meant the audience. I know, I know. Um, my dad commented like two videos ago. Maybe it was episode 100. I don't remember. And I've already told you before that people at work told me that anytime you see a gas station, like, outside of, once you pass, like... Iowa. Idaho. N- maybe Idaho, yeah. Like, once you... Well, I don't think we're going to pass Idaho. Because oh, no, we're no, going we're to Nevada. Going to, yeah. like, we're going to Colorado. Right. Once you pass Colorado, every gas station just stop. Like, my dad said, if you're at half tank, you see a gas station fill up. That's what he said. That's literally what he said. He's like, you don't know when you're going to see a gas station. For sure, Zeus. That's some that's great advice. It's great advice. I don't want to be running out of gas there. I have AAA, and they're all in America, right? It's not just California thing, or am I tripping? They're all, all over America. Thank God. Okay. America, America, America. That's what they stand for, literally, brother. Hey, if we they ever see... They are hey, American. Oh, fuck, you don't have a Costco. Their colors are red, white, and blue, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they're American through and through. Hey, if we see a Sam's Club out there, like, on the drive... Pizza. Bro. One dollar fifty for hot two dog. slices of pizza. Give me that fat old fucking. One dollar fifty for a hot dog and a drink. Yeah. Or I'll definitely stop it. But hey, bro, I got Costco. We can order ahead. Walk in there, or not Costco, Sam's Club. We'll walk in there, walk out, go right in the car, and, sh- and fill up at Sam's Club gas. See, you know what? And I'm also excited to find out like these different states. They're different marts. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Like oh, you, you got, think we'll see a Bucky's? You got, oh yeah, you got Bucky's, you got Loves, you got a bunch of different types. Publix. And I want to see what the East Coast or Midwest or whatever they want to call it has to offer. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I wonder like, I wonder like if we go, how we're going to feel. Like once we get there, like, hey, dude, are I, we out of place or, we're, or do you no. think like, hey, this is not that bad? I've been told, I've been told that... We are gonna. It's gonna be noticeable that we are, uh, like sticking out like a, a sore thumb. Yeah, we're gonna stick out like a sore thumb. That's fucking awesome. One hundred percent. Should I bring the dungeon shirt, just to stick out even more? I'm totally bringing it. This is all about clout right now. You could totally bring it, and then you're this is all be, about clout. Gonna be rocking the nips. Gonna be no, rocking. no, no. I'm just gonna put a fucking long shirt under it. There you go. Same thing. That's it. There you go. Like, oh, what's Daddy's dungeon? That's just, that shirt's fucking dope. Cause remember, like when I wore that shirt to rock climbing, the guy's like, "Hey, bro, dope shirt." I should have been like, hey, Rachel, follow the podcast. <laughs> yeah. But real. now, when they're like, hey, well, that's a dope chair. I'm like, thanks. Thanks, Daddy. Yeah, podcast. we're going to be like illegal aliens in Kentucky. Uh, yeah, literally. That's what, well, actually, luckily, I, um, what, I, I, I'm white presenting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that's what it is. Anyone listening right now, can you guys please comment? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Holder, explain what you're trying to say, and we're trying to figure out the terminology for it. I'm bean inside <laughs> and brown inside, but I'm white outside. Outside, coconut out uh-huh. inside. Uh huh. You, you know? look white. Everything like you're like damn that yeah, guy's white. I you got a bunch white. of tats. I, so 
I think that's called white presenting, but I feel like I feel like there's another word for it. I feel like it. there's another phrase for it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm agreeing with you. White presenting, it, white presenting, it, gets, it makes perfect sense. Makes my point. You're like, hey, I'm Mexican presenting white right now, because that's what I look. I'm a pale boy. But I mean, I'm not gonna say that when I introduce myself. That'd I know. Be insane. Hey guys, I'm Hoser. I look white, but I'm actually Mexican. Mexican <laughs> presenting white, like, dude, no, that'd be insanity. I don't know why, but I don't find it weird, but I just can't do it. Do you what? You introduce yourself as Hoser, and every time they go, Hoser? Every time. Have you ever noticed that? No. Well, next time you introduce yourself to somebody, like, when they say, hey, what's up, bro? Like, oh, hey, I'm Hoser. They always go, Hoser? Every time. Oh, yeah. Every yes, time. Yes, it's like yes, they're shocked right. that you say Hoser. Yeah, they're like, whoa, what kind of name is that? Yeah. And yeah. then you're like, and you say, yeah, it's Hoser. You don't say, oh, it's, it's fucking Jose, but they call me Hoser. You just go, it's Hoser. Yeah. Like, so fucking dialed in on it. So dialed in on it. Well, that's what and it I is. And I tried to introduce myself as Dill one time. Couldn't do it. I didn't like it. Why? Just didn't like it. No one calls me Dill. Well, you do sometimes. I do all the time. You do all the time. I do it all the time. Yeah, you do all the time. Okay. I just, it's, it's, I just can't do it. No, no, Dylan, nice to meet you. But see, the thing is, it's like... Okay. Well, that's what it... That's my name. I know what's <laughs> your name. <laughs> I know it's your name. Motherfuckers gotta get it right, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not that I don't like Jose, because my sister has told me before, too. She's like, wow, you don't like your name. She's like, wow. Yeah, you don't like it. Uh -huh. It's like, no, it's not that at all. It's just that, I mean, it's just... Honestly, it's easier. You think so? I think it's easier. And it's cooler. <clears throat> I like Jose, personally. You like it? Who gave you that? I think it's spelled cooler. Who gave you that nickname? It's somebody on the job site, for sure. Early, early on, when I was first going in. Nice. Wait, what's up, Hoser? Yeah. You're like, damn, that was fucking sexy. No. It just hit you. Well, I, then after that, I it, I never stopped hearing it. That's fire. You know? You ever get, like, made fun of on the job site? For what? Just, they just roast you. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, because I saw someone tweeting, uh, and he was like, oh, they're all making fun of me. Because he just got a new job. Oh, it's Jeff. You know Jeff. Uh -huh. Jiffy. He started getting made fun so of. So what does he do? I think he's doing uh, some kind of labor... Because he posts, like, a union hall that he was at. Oh, yeah? I don't know what he does, though. Laborer? Yeah, laborer. Okay. I don't know what he does, though. And he was like, yeah, they're all making fun of me. And I was like, it's like, dude, you're working in construction now, dude? That's all that's going to happen. you got to suck it up. Well, America. I mean, it really depends on, on the job site that you're on. You that's know true. What I mean? But the, the crew he's on right now is definitely making fun of him. Yeah. And uh, he's going to fit right in. He'll find the druggie soon. He'll start, he'll start doing coke with him. Oh Fire. man, Fire. you can find that first day instantly, easy. In the in the fucking porta potties, you want you want to do a line of coke with me, brother? That's crazy. Easy money for him. Hell yeah! Shout out Jeff. But uh, which is actually really sad how normalized that is on the job site. <laughs> it's actually insanely sad, but it's the it's a <laughs> it's a reality. It's a cold hard truth. Don't fucking touch stuff. Don't it's touch a cold stuff. hard truth. We're fucking straight edge in this bad. But you know what? Those delinquents are the ones that build your buildings. Those delinquents are the ones that yeah run this country. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Yes, that's right. Those hell delinquents, yeah. those convicts, those felons, those, those fucking, druggies. Yes, those are the ones working that run alcoholics. This country. They're the ones that run this country. Yeah, hell yeah. Goddamn right. Hell yeah. That's right. Did you hear about Mike Tyson, Jake Paul? The fight, dude. I did. Yes. Did you see the rules of that fight? I didn't know that. Well, I'm sure there there are rules. There's there the rules. Are they crazy? The rules are absolutely insane. No hitting in the face. No. Okay, get this. Jake Paul is allowed to wear headgear. Why? But Mike Tyson is not. That's some bitch ass okay? shit. That's the first. That's the first one. Okay. Okay. Guess who else is allowed to wear headgear? The ref. Logan Paul. What is he gonna fight? And guess who's allowed to come in the ring whenever he wants? And fight simultaneously Mike Tyson. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. So the Paul brothers can fucking gang rape Mike Tyson at 66 years old. Something like that. I think he's 62. So Mike Tyson being 62 versus a 27-year-old and a 24-year-old. At the same time. Mike Tyson. 62 years old. Dude, Mike Tyson at this point in his life, dude. He's he, ripped. He is so... I love him. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's the best. He's so mellow. Yeah. He's so shrewd. out. But, but in reality... Uh, He'll kill you. Behind it all, he is... A killer. A killer. He's talked about it before. A ravenous being. I forgot what he said. 
You know, like, the, and those are, in my opinion, but those are the guys that are the coolest, in my opinion. I mean, he's so cool. He's talked about it before. He was like, yeah, you know, those quiet guys. Yes. This, this, and that. He's like, those are the true killers right there. Those guys can know how to kill. Like like uh, the guy that me and Ricky were talking about yesterday, Grant. Uh, uh, my foreman, Grant. Yeah, old dude. He's super chill, super mellow, real big guy, right? But I feel like if you really, really like... What kind of music mad. does he like? He like well, he he did tell me he liked slam slam metal. Oh, that's almost hardcore. No, it's like, like closer to death. Really? No, yeah. I feel like okay, never mind. I guess you got to confuse me. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's it's hard shit. Yeah. You know. But um, he seems like a lumberjack type of guy. He's a, he's an awesome dude. Awesome dude. But if you get him mad, I feel like he could just destroy you. Do you think he just you pick you up like this and just? Yeah, just toss you like like he just picked up a broom off the floor, just tossed it. Yeah, but so Mike Tyson has to fight both of them at the same time. Can't wear headgear. But I, I hope he beats the shit out of him. But I feel like, okay, man, the Paul brothers, they're not dumb. Obviously, no. they're not dumb at all. They're Neither is Mike Tyson. Dumb. Neither is Mike Tyson. So I feel like Jake Paul, when he's doing this and when he's making. These rules, obviously, he knows there's gonna be there's something in behind the scenes that we don't know about. Yeah, I think at least. I don't know. Mike Tyson keeps posting videos of him hitting the bag, and Jake also keeps posting like he's he always posts fucking him hitting the bag. Mike Tyson is ripping that thing, dude. Yeah, no, it's fast, dude. Fast as fuck. Dude, and then it, the freaking bag cries. Cries. The bag literally Joe, cries when he hits Joe, it. Joe. Uh, uh. Dude, imagine taking a body shot. I hope, ooh, since we're in headgear, I hope he just goes like, and then he slips, and then just, bam, like that. But, I mean. It's a slip. Boom. But the Paul brothers are also great athletes. Athle- athletic. Great athletes. See, this is where people get it misunderstood. Is Jake Paul a professional boxer? Uh, I guess you could say that. I, yeah. I, I don't know if he's technically a professional boxer or not. I think he technically is a professional boxer. So you got a professional boxer, Jake Paul, and a professional wrestler, which takes a lot of talent and athleticism yeah. to do. Well, Logan Paul has fought professionally a few times as well. Boxing? Yes. Oh, really? Against okay. KSI and oh, okay. uh, Floyd Mayweather. Gotcha. Oh, so you definitely got to be pro to fight Floyd, right? Uh, Floyd is one of the bag. Floyd okay. beat his ass. Yeah. Floyd beat his ass. That's fair. That's fair. But yeah. still... Despite all of that, still super athletic and still very... And they get in there and they train. Very much a threat. Yeah. I and would it, say like, so. I feel like 90% of the people that talk shit on them are like us. And they beat our ass. Like, no problem. Best believe I'm going to still talk shit no matter, no matter I what. I mean, I'm not really of talking course. shit. Like, but, the only thing I talk shit on is it's like, bro, you're fighting Ben Askren. Yeah. Tyron Woodley. Yes. Anderson Silva. They're all old and fucking retired. And a retired old man. Right. Yeah. But but I still do give them their credit because they are good at yeah. what they do. They're athletic. And then Jake Paul athletes. goes, "Hey, Ben Askren was an Olympic wrestler, one of the best college wrestlers of all time. Tyron Rudley was one of the best UFC champions champions when he was at his level, and a great wrestler. And then you got Anderson Silva, arguably one of the goats of middleweight. You know, you got GSP, you got Izzy. So let me ask you this: Say, for example, you in the NBA, you get drafted, and you go up against Michael Jordan when he was on the Wizards, mm-hmm. right? When he was on the Wizards, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then um, you drop a good 25-piece on Michael Jordan, right? I don't think that happened. Let's just say. Let's hypotheticals. Just say his Wizards. We're right presenting. His, his Wizards era. We're right presenting. Okay? okay. Are you considering yourself to be like, oh, look, I took down Michael Jordan? No. Or was that not really him? I don't think that was really Michael Jordan. Because it was not. It wasn't. It wasn't really any special season for him, you know? Did he it, did it make the playoffs that year? I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is that wasn't actually yeah. Michael Jordan. Uh-huh. Real Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. That's when he's destroying. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Who, like... <laughs> fuck. Who was it? Someone, like, scored, like... Eight points in a row on Kobe, and he like said something, and Kobe said, "Oh, really?" Like that, and he didn't score the rest of the game. Kobe beat his ass. I forgot who it was. I'm sure he's done that to plenty of people. Who's that guy who did the flinch at him? That was Matt Barnes. That, that guy. Orlando Magic, Matt Barnes. Yeah. Kobe fucking beat his ass after that. Not after that, but after he like, hey, I just dropped like eight on you, dog. Yeah, he slept with his wife. 
Wait, what? No, not actually. I'm just kidding. No, Matt Barnes, him and Derek Fisher had a feud going on. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm getting it mixed up as far as who was Did in what, what position. Uh-huh. But there was an affair going on, I believe. And I, so I think Derek Fisher was driving up to New York to uh, actually confront Matt Barnes. He was going to press him. So you think Matt Barnes is fucking his wife? I think so. I think so. But there was something going on between them. I don't know the deeds, so correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, rest in peace of Scotty Pippen, dude. Rest in peace of Scotty Pippen, dude. Oh, my God. He fucked his wife, and now Michael Jordan's marrying her. Michael Jordan's son is marrying her. Is it, that's Michael Jordan Jr., isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Michael Jordan's married her. Oh, my that's God. That's funny, dude. And she was taking care of him when he was a little kid. Well, you know. Hey, the rich get richer. The rich get richer. Oh, that's very unfortunate. No, but what do you think about the rules, though, with Mike Tyson? I think that's some BS. You think but so? I'm telling you, man. I think there's some... They've got something up their sleeve. I... Because, he, dude, Logan Paul is a WWE wrestler. wrestler. Yeah. These guys... He's competing. Pull... These guys are known to pull shit out of their sleeves all the fucking time, bro. Eye poke, ear bite. No, but not even that. More theatrical. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Something to, something to get the crowd going. And that's what I think Logan Paul is there for. I just want Jake to fight real wrestlers. Or not wrestlers. Boxers. boxers. Real boxers that are actually competing at his weight around his age. Like Tommy Fury. I'd like to see that. He did fight Tommy Fury and Tommy Fury beat him. Oh, he did? He did. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, Tommy Fury beat him. So he fought a real boxer at his age and Tommy Fury beat him. There you the go. The only time. There you go. The only time he fought someone his age that's actually a boxer, he lost. And he should keep going. And he should keep trying. Yes. Like, look at Francis. Did you, did you see what Anthony Joshua said to him after? No, what did he say? He said, hey, don't stop. Don't stop this. Like, just keep going. Like, you're 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 being a real, like, beacon of hope for people. Oh. He told him that in the ring after he got knocked out. Oh, really, yeah. huh? He's like, bro, you're doing, like, just keep keep fighting. Hell don't yeah. stop. He's like, I know I knocked you out, but that's it. You think about it like this. He fought fucking Tyson Fury. And, and that's like a goat giving you... Words of Joshua? advice. Not go, but he's he, a he's a very high level boxer. He's, yes, he's a very very high level boxer in his. Yeah. Yes. Wait. So. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. I just hope Mike Tyson wins. Everyone does. Like, does anyone ever actually want Jake Paul to win? Honestly, if if I were to see him fight a boxer that was his age, and. That would put Jake Paul in the underdog seat. Yes, Bro, okay. I would want him to win. You big underdog guy. I'm big underdog. See, guy. Mike Tyson underdog today because he's fighting two v one. Yeah, he, it's today. No, no. Rise of the underdogs, baby. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um. I don't know. I want to. Like, I really want to see Jake Paul versus a real boxer. Tyson or uh, Tommy <sighs> Fury hasn't really fought that many people. What's up with Ryan Garcia, man? What's that going on with wild. him? That was wild. We already talked about that. What is going on with him? Uh, people saying CTE. I think he's trying to get his guy for a loop. He's like, hey, this guy is fucking... He's, he's getting psyched out. I'm going to slack off on training. But there's, a, there's tons of reports saying that like he's training his ass off. So I think it's all a ploy to fuck with the other guy. You think so? Like, hey, all this, this stuff going, that's going... Yeah. This guy's going crazy. I think that I'm going to fucking slack off a little bit mentally. He's going to let off the gas. Lose focus. He's going to lose focus. While Ryan is like fully focused. That's what that's what the word on the street is that people are saying on Twitter and shit, like all these videos. So you think he's acting like that, Ryan? Wow, he's a great actor then. Maybe. If that's the case. And maybe that shit did happen to him. I'm not putting it past him. You know? You're in a higher position like that. You're super famous. They, they want people like that. But he talked. So it's either he's going to end up dead soon or great actor. So if he ends up dead soon, knock on wood, obviously, what are we doing? I don't know. Uh. Burn, obviously burning that fucking force down. They're obviously going to try and say, like, oh, he wasn't in his right mind, you know, because they always try and say that the people oh, going against him are lunatics. So their excuse right now is, is that he's been in professional boxing since he was seven. It is. Like he started from the bottom at seven years old and started working his way up. And they're saying, oh, his CT is finally catching up to him. See, his CT is finally catching up to him. But when I first saw this kid, Ryan Garcia, how old is he? 
He's I think he's younger age. than us, right? Probably. Or, or, or within our age. When I first saw him, I want to say he was maybe like... 19? Yeah, yeah. 18, uh-huh. 19 years old. Savage. He seemed perfectly fine. Yeah. He seemed like... Look, what, look at what happened when he fought Gervonta. He was exactly in his right mind. Yeah. When he fought Gervonta Davis, um, I've never bet against Gervonta. Like, when we bet at work, I've always won on him. Every time. I've never lost on him. So, far. Didn't, didn't, didn't do it again. And he looked fine. Interviews was fine. He took the loss like a man. And he did have that super speed. Wait, did he? He does have super speed. Yeah. Javante doesn't. Javante is a precision striker. Ryan Garcia is known for his speed. So, I don't know. I don't even know who he's fighting. I couldn't tell you. I don't know who he's fighting either. But I know it's a big fight. I know, like... Because uh, they're saying that Ryan Garcia is, like... He fights nobody. So, he's trying to... You know, take the steps to be a somebody, and I like that. Oh hell yeah! I do dude. respect that. Absolutely, he's taking matters into his own hands. What I don't hands. respect is that he's always. You know how I feel about this. He's always preaching about God. Uh huh. God this, God that. He's cheating on his wife. Got caught. Popping bottles. I think he doing got. I, th- I think he got like. Uh, I think he got the person he was cheating on pregnant. Wow. Okay. So he's having kids out of wedlock. You know. As a what? I'm sorry. Wedlock. What is that? You're not married. You just call the bastard. Sin. My mama said I'll be a bastard. What, what, what song is that? Which one? I don't even know what song I'm singing. Oh. My dad always Mind hated. playing tricks on me. My dad always hated when I used to say that as a kid. Hmm. Ah, you bastard. When I used to tell my brother that. Ah, you bastard. He'd slap you. Hey. He would always hate that. He'd, gi- he'd give me the meanest look. And, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, Dada. You know, I was uh-huh. like, I would say it again. I don't know why. I always wondered. You should ask him. Maybe because he's right there. He's like, hey, dude. Hey, dude, you don't talk to your brother. I'm right here. Oh, true, true. I'm right here. He's like, I came back with a pack of cigarettes, remember? (laughs) Your dad ever smoked cigs? Oh, dude, hella hella cigarette smoker. He used to be. He used to go crazy on them things, Uh man. He was a... Not anymore? No, not anymore. He he just quit cold turkey one day when my sister... uh, He asked my sister what she wanted for her birthday. Daddy, I want you to stop smoking. And he really just fucking get quick cold turkey. What a savage! Right there and then, quick cold turkey. How how long ago was that? Ten years ago, maybe. Uh, I want to say that was over fifteen years ago. Wow, good for him. Doing good now. I would probably even say over twenty years ago. Your sister is a lot older than you. Like ten years older than you. She's eight years older than me. Yeah, yeah. I would say over twenty years ago. We'll give you about 17. But yeah, dude, he's been, uh, that seems like it was he don't smoke that super gas bag? easy for him. Nah. You don't give him that gas bag? Very against it. See, I feel like what you should do is, this do- is how you Dose him. him. Dose him. I got to dose him. Dose him. I just got to, I just got to, I got to give him a brownie. Yes. And then, no, see, that'll send him into an, an oblivion. No, And no. they will hate me forever. But hey, Dad, I got a little bit of brownie. If you want some, he'll eat it. But hey, this, this feel fucking great. But Dad, you just ate some weed. I some. think I think you and Ma should start He's like, puffing it up. Brother, this Chivas game is fucking awesome. Hey, dude, what's going on with Chitarito, bro? He's not liking it. My dad's I, not liking yeah, it. Yeah, dude, I heard he's fucking ass cheeks. My dad is not liking it. He's not a fan. Chivas is ass anyways. Unfortunately, Puro yes. Monterrey. No. Yeah. He's, he's not a fan of the hometown hero at the moment. He's not fucking doing it. He's not doing it. Not fucking doing it. But, you know, sometimes it just, that's just how the cookie crumbles. It's life. You he's know? old. This is an imperfect place. He sucked like six years ago, so. The world is an imperfect he's place. He's a great streamer, though. He is a great streamer. A great streamer. I think he's got to dedicate his practice more on the fucking. Soccer? No, he's got to dedicate. He's got to dedicate more of his time on streaming. No, I think his time is too much on streaming. That's why he's sucking at soccer. Oh, you think so? Yeah. I think it's time for a he's career a change. Yeah, I think it's. He, dude, he's already got the bag. I think this is his last. Because a lot of like football players or sorry, soccer players, they uh, they go to their hometown and then that's it. Yeah, I, I mean, most athletes, I would assume, do. Like that's what, what Sergio mean? Ramos is doing too. That's what a lot of athletes do. Like even NBA, NFL. It's like them showing respect to where they came from. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. A lot. I like that in some instances. Uh-huh. Obviously, you know, if you if you leave that team with a good taste in your mouth. Right. So yeah, I would do that. Um, I've been watching this guy on Instagram. I haven't been watching him. I don't follow him, but he's been like popping up, right? And he's like, "Oh, this is eight point three. Uh, go to my Discord for the address." I'm like, "Why is this? Why do you only go to Discord?" And he just like literally like just barges through the door, and he's like, "Team Clapping Cheeks is here." 
He's going to fucking massage parlors and getting it, getting jerked off, and he's rating it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that? Isn't that illegal? Totally illegal. Is he is he putting the name of the massage totally. parlor? Not on Instagram. He said it's in my Discord. Oh, okay. And I I haven't looked. I don't have a need to look, uh-huh. but I find it so funny. <laughs> That's I haven't crazy. Seen, I haven't seen anyone under eight, so all these Asian women are fucking killing it right now, I guess. Getting a handy. Well, who knows what he's getting, actually. One pump, you know the rules. Oh, well, I guess. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, dude. So he's given, like, every, I've seen, like, seven so far that just pop up randomly when I'm scrolling. They're all eight and above. Didn't didn't Asians, didn't they, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, this is just a very... Well, okay. I guess. Okay. Didn't what they am I de- presenting? Didn't they develop the uh, uh, the one inch punch like in Kill Bill? Probably. They probably got the one inch pump, where they can they can totally make you just splooge everywhere with a one inch pump. Yeah, think about this. They're massaging people all day. Their hands are soft, and but they're strong, and they just know how to work skin. You know. Oh yeah. So when they grant, you know, fucking. They'll know. probably they'll probably rip my fucking hoodie off. When they get that fucking skin, baby, of nope. your dick, you're just like, oh, wait. Don't oh. rip the hoodie off. Yeah. They'll be like, you're going to be a Jew today, baby. I wonder how much they charge. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going into treacherous waters here. Oh, I'm just generally asking. I'm not, like, going to go, obviously. You're trying to get a massage? Hey, when in Rome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he likes it. Now he likes no, it. No, no. But, uh, yeah, dude, I find it fascinating. And I look at the comments. I'll send you one next time and tell you look at the comments. It, Everyone's like, hey, bro, go to this one on this street. I saw... He's in Las Vegas. There was this guy. He uh, he went to a massage parlor. Uh-huh. A massage parlor very similar to the ones you're talking about, right? Okay. And so he ended up calling the cops and getting his masseuse arrested because she tried engaging in sex sex with him. Oh, he didn't want to fuck her. He didn't. He didn't want to do anything with her, and so oh. she started touching him. And his, Miscommunication. Know, started touching his wiener and everything, and he was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, brother! Get the, get fuck, the back. fuck back, get bitch! Get the fuck back, bitch! Get the fuck back, bitch! I'm calling nine one one right the fuck now. Put your hands up!" Oh, and he called. The, he called the ops. He called the ops, and he got her. He got her locked down. up. He got her locked up. Got her locked up. They took her away in cuffs. She's and just trying pe- to do her job. People were giving him shit for it. They're like, oh, what the fuck, bro? Hey, that's a loyal ass man. I respect that shit. You gay, bro? You gay, bro? No, nah, bro. He's probably married and loves his wife. No, nah, man. I just I didn't want to be sexually assaulted, bro. Exactly. That's you know? literally sexual assault. Just didn't want to be sexually assaulted. Imagine if a guy did that to a girl. Imagine, you, yeah. imagine like, I have a guy and there's a girl saying she wants a massage and I start to, like touching her pussy. Yes, absolutely. I'd go to jail instantly. Absolutely. I'd get rape charges. 100%. So why is it, why is it fucked up that he did that? Piece of shit. Yeah. Motherfucking piece of bacon. You fat pig. You fucking fat pig. You piece of bacon. What? What? I wasn't even trying. But there was this other situation <laughs> uh-huh. uh, that I did see, and it bothered me. Okay. It actually did bother me. So, <clears throat> Seth Rogen, right? We all know Seth Rogen. <laughs> that was not his last but We all love I Seth Rogen. Yeah. Well, not everybody, but uh-huh. I love Seth Rogen. James Franco loves him. We all know him to be a huge stoner. Funny guy. Funny right? guy. Real funny guy. Huge stoner, right? So him and his wife, uh-huh. they have this routine. Every Saturday, they like to get stoned, watch movies in bed. Saturday. Saturday morning. That basically sounds probably what he does every day. <clears throat> yes, okay. And so he was saying, he, he said, I would never have children because that's going to get in the way of my Saturday mornings with my wife. He's 41 years old, right? What and does his wife think? People were people on the internet uh-huh. were saying Seth Rogen is a fucking bum piece of shit. He wants to smoke weed all day in bed with his wife. This is... I can't put an opinion out there until I hear what his wife thinks. Because what no, if his but, wife wants kids? Right, I understand that. I understand that. But I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it in the eyes of... We like our Saturday mornings. Let's keep it going. Yeah. You know? I'm seeing it as if they haven't even talked about having kids. Uh-huh. Right? That they're just rolling with their Saturday mornings. Uh-huh. But people are trying to pressure him and force him to, have, to have children because of his age. That bugged me. 
So Seth Rogen didn't bug you. No. The comments bugged you. Yes, it bugged me. I agree. That everybody was fucking really wailing on him for that. I know what you're. I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen the video, but I saw like a little s- snippet of it. And I didn't even see a snip. I didn't even see a video. I saw a quote uh, that okay. Seth Rogen had said. Well, I think him and his wife have talked about it because he's an actor, and acting you have to keep secrets. You know, like hey, you can't leak any movie. You can't talk about this. You know. Oh, totally. NDAs all day. I'm like probably ninety five percent sure him and his wife did talk about like, hey, I don't think we should have kids. Oh, uh, why? Is, why do you think? Uh, some people just don't want to have kids. Yeah, they don't think that they're going to be good parents. Hey, we're cool. We're having a good time. I like what we do. I don't think we should have kids. Totally fair, you know? brother. So yes. I think that he's in that boat, and that's why he was totally comfortable with saying that. And if he's not in that boat, his wife is probably divorcing him as we speak, and. You never know. See, but the thing is... Oh, yeah. And so they're probably keeping that a secret. Right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I've always wanted kids and you don't. They're going to have to talk about it. And if they say, you know what? We can have kids. Or that's it. I'm cutting off. and go find somebody else, brother. <laughs> yeah, but I agree. I think they've definitely had that talk before. And they already know where they stand. And people need to stay out of this fucking business. People need to stay out of this fucking business. Stay the business. fuck out of this business. He, he is a grown-ass mind. He is making a conscious decision and he's actually making the right decision, right? Because he knows he's not going to... Well, actually, I don't know. He doesn't know if he's going to be a good dad or not. I don't not. know the way he thinks, right? Yeah, uh-huh. But he's just not... He's making the right choice, in Dude, my opinion. He's not just an actor. He's a fucking businessman. He has a lot of businesses in yes. Canada. Like, yes. He's fucking busy, dude. Yes. In, the, in his head, he's probably like, dude, I'm busy all the time. I, I don't have time to take care of a kid. I like getting high. I like getting stoned when I get home. Exactly. He's not doing it around the kids. He's, I'm not no fucking... He's got his priorities straight. I'm not no Wiz Khalifa. You know he's got his priorities straight. See, and that's the thing with Wiz Khalifa, dude. They hate on him for that shit. They hate on him for that what shit. What are your thoughts on that? Because his son has showed up to school smelling like weed. Uh-huh. Reeking like weed. This, he's his son up smokes. to elementary school, I think. His son smokes. Does he smoke? Yeah, bro. How old is he? We've already had this conversation before. Have, dude. I when, I, when I went to the Wiz Khalifa concert. No way. I don't even remember his son, knowing that his son smoked. Yeah, he doesn't care. Personally? I think that's a little... Too much. Off the rails, but, you know, he's a grown man. That's his life. His son, he can do what he wants. It might not be the right thing, but that's not my son. Also, after this trip, I'm done smoking. That's not my life. That's his thing. I think I'm done smoking after this trip. That's your life. It's your thing, brother. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm doing that. Heck yeah. We'll make uh, you get to that uh, conclusion. Some personal stuff. Totally. We'll talk about it after. Okay. But yeah. I got some shit to worry about. So, no more smoking. Fair. And I haven't really been liking it lately. I've just been like getting stuck. And I don't like that. We all got our reasons. It's okay. It's all good. It's all right. Um, life. Fuck, dude. Oh, I got two fucking things to react and then I'm ready to go, brother. Let's check it out. I got two funny ass things to react to. No thoughts, just hate? Yes, uh, literally. Ruin. Which one are we checking out? The left one first. I'm sure you've already seen the left one. Oh my <laughs> god, bro. That was it. That was all I want to show you. Oh. <laughs> Your brother sent that one in. My god. Your brother, I said. This is making it on the pod. And he said, my job is done. That's a soggy kiwi. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. That's a soggy kiwi. That kiwi's been in the sun. Can we sun. watch it again? Can we watch it again? Holy gosh darn, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Females, take tips. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got a good grip of it. If you take a look, you got a good grip of oh, it. Oh, totally. Good suction to where it has that nice little pop. Yes, that yep. one. Yes, has that nice little yeah. pop. Love that was it. fucking funny. Love it. This second one, everyone. Uh, I know if if you're listening, I need you to I need you to watch, because this is fucking awesome. Go ahead. Okay, this I'm, one, I'm, I'm gonna read this first. Okay, it says when your granny, when your granny foster child say he mouth dry, so you tell he go get some water. Then he say where him downstairs. Downstairs, I'm sorry. What the uh, fuck? I, I picture they're from the south, but you have to watch the whole thing. <laughs> they're so, from Kentuckers. Yeah, this is this is fucking awesome. 
Let's see. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> My boy thirsty out here. My boy fucking thirsty. Oh my god damn! Oh my god damn! Oh my! Oh my god damn! Go back for another. Go back one. Oh, I was oh hoping he'd go back for another oh dude. I, I should have. I should have clipped the whole video, but he stops right and he goes like a penguin. Yeah, he walks like around the counter like ten feet like this, and he goes and he just walks off like no, like nothing happened. And I was like, this guy's got the tism. He's somewhere on the on the spectrum of the tism. So? Oh yeah, man! I think he was gonna go back for a third. He oh probably did. Oh my god! You Dude, know that thing was though? like fourteen inches, bro. I'm imagining. You know what though? He he may be onto something. Hear me out. 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 Okay, so a faucet. Think of a faucet. Okay. It's sticking out and it's got its down shot. All mm -hmm. right. When it goes into his throat, it goes into his mouth. The down shot is right into his throat. He completely skips the tongue. The sipping. Yeah. He just goes direct fuel injection. <laughs> streamlining it into his fucking stomach. See, the problem is, he said, my mouth is dry. My mouth dry as hell. Bro, that thing is like that <laughs> fucking long. He just deep throat. Like, hey, well, maybe that's how he gets wet. Yeah, dude. Damn. When I saw that, I watched it like 10 times. I just couldn't stop laughing. And it was fucking awesome. You know, again, females take tips. <laughs> God damn. Oh my. This southern king knows what he's doing. Yeah. My boy know how to get it right. Bro, and then she just recorded him and posted like it was normal. Like no one was going to fucking flame his shit. And didn't even... You know what, though? Oh, my God. Well, why, <laughs> why, he seems like he's so proud of it. Why would they flame him? Huh? Oh, okay. I love you. It seemed like he was so proud of it and so, like, so about proud it. Of it. Why would they flame him? Somebody who was that fucking down for whatever shit they're repping? Dude, I don't... No one can flame them. Bro, I don't know, but it just baffled me. Like, why didn't he just get a second cup of water? Why was his first instinct to just fuck it? I'm deep throwing it. You know what? Because he knew that if he, if he went in with the faucet... Without having that cup of water, it was going to hurt. It was going to hurt, and he was going to have a sore throat in the morning. Because he's done this before. He knows. He's a seasoned fucking veteran in this game, bro. He does this shit in the middle of the night when everybody's asleep. Like That's exactly what I was going to say. I picture him as a little kid, like, hey, I should suck it. Like, you know. And then eventually it just became normal. And it's just his thing. It's just his thing now. That's what he does. Do you think he goes to the mall and just fucking starts deep throwing it at the mall? No. Oh. No. You know what? Because I feel like if, if you're saying this guy is on the TISM spectrum, yeah. my nephew is on the TISM spectrum. I hope he doesn't he do that. he's very, very clean. He's very clean. He's not doing that. Thank God. And so he's definitely not going out to no malls. So this guy, I'm assuming he's not going out to no malls. He's not doing it publicly. Uh -huh. It's where he knows he's his mom gets down and cleans everything spick and span. She goes, goes on a fucking field day. I could see that. Speaking of the tisms, I keep getting the the love on the spectrum, the after the shows. And you know that one girl who's like a he she liked anime and stuff yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, she has a boyfriend now. Yeah, Hassan, I think his Hassan. name is. Is he Something is like he on the tism too? Yes, totally. Was he on the show? Yes, he was oh, on the okay. show. Okay, I didn't finish the show. Yeah, they showed him in the show together and everything. Yeah, dude, I was like, oh good for very her. Very both of them very romantic. Oh. Was it the first guy she went on a date with? In season two? I, I don't quite remember, honestly. But and then you got like that that blonde girl who's with the other guy when they went to the safari. Yeah, the safari. They're still together. Good for them. You know, you know what? And and these these uh these people on the tism right in the show. I don't know if it's them or I don't know if it's their families or the producers or what, mm -hmm. but they all have a TikTok now. They all have thousands of followers. You you want to know what kept popping up on my Instagram uh. for the ads? TurboTax with the safari girl. Really? She's doing ads now, Turbo huh? TurboTax up the ass, wow. bro. Wow. She getting the bag. She getting the bag. Remember the mom was like, oh, I don't have enough money. Oh, she got enough money now, girl. But oh, that's what I'm wondering. Who? Take who, notes, ladies. Is it her that's saying, you know what? 
I need that bag. I need some more Definitely lion not. plushies. Definitely not. I need some more lion plushies. Definitely I need to go not. do some commercials. Definitely her mom. You think so, huh? She's Definitely taking her the mom reins. milking her. Okay. Hey, good for the mom. She took care of her autistic ass for fucking 25 yes. years. Yes. She deserves it. Yes. She deserves it. Uh, well, yes. You're she right. deserves you're right. it. You're right. You're right. Fuck it. Like low peeps mom, I guess. Dumb bitch. That's totally different. That's totally different. They just dropped another album. Like, like a week ago. I get it recommended every day, and I'm like, I'm not fucking clicking it. Moochers. I'm not clicking it. I don't give a fuck. Moochers. I'm That's tired terrible. of it. I'm tired of it. Let my man sleep. Bro, Lil Peep is dead. Let him die. Stop stop dropping albums. He's fucking... He's dead. Stop trying to get the money off of him. Pissing me off. That's just my opinion. Absolutely. I 100% agree with you. Like, he's been dead. Let him... Like, I understand Mac Miller. That hasn't dropped, I don't think. But he had a... He had an album ready. Just wasn't like fully like produced. Stop throwing memorial parties. Yeah. Stop dropping merch. Stop it's dropping new albums. You ready to go? Yes, I'm ready to go. Sorry. Babe, duty calls. Brother, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Big Deal with Two G's underscore on the Twitter. Follow us at Daddy's Under Pod on TikTok and Instagram. Holder, plug the rest. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Sick puppy on Instagram with on Instagram and Twitter. Sick puppy with two E's. And episode 102. Signing off.